Kathy, how does that feel to the way that Caitlin thinks of you? Is that fair criticism? On some aspects, yeah. There's been a few incidents where she has flirted with my friends, tried to get with my friends. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold up. Look, look, look. Mom was like, and? <laughs> Did you say flirt? Like, try to hook up with your friends, yes. your hold age? On. Has she flirted or has she, has she hooked up with your friends? Flirted. Flirted? Okay, matter of fact, you know, we, hold on. The, the, we got a little bit of evidence here. Uh, we have a couple of texts from your friend. That's fine. Oh. <laughs> you said you haven't talked to my mom? He said, nah, she be sliding up on my bleep, mm. calling me sexy out of her or leaving short replies, you know, trying not to be mean. Ooh. Ooh. You sliding up in the DM, girl? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> huh? uh -huh. I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> One of her friends? Yeah, but he is fine. Oh! <laughs> Here was her thing. Nothing happened, so... You just need to let it go. There's no reason to be mad. You know, you're mad over nothing, la, la, la. And it's always like that. When she makes a mistake, there's never any owning up to it. It's mm -hmm. not just the fact, like, that you hit on my friends or try to flirt with my friends or you embarrass me out in public, but you never own up to the fact that you're wrong and just say, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I made a mistake, I'm wrong, I won't do that again. Is any of this drug-induced behavior? I mean, is she on drugs? No. She, uh, Look I'm on daughter. Uh -oh. I'm uh -oh. on prescription daughter. medication. I am not on drugs. Uh, what prescription say? medication are you on? Uh -huh. um, I take Cymbalta. I take Neurontin. I'm on a seizure pill. Mm -hmm. I'm on a blood pressure pill and Klonopin. See how she waited to say Klonopin last, right? Yeah. That's what the yes. issue. So do you feel like your mom has an addiction? She does have an addiction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need the Klonopin. She thinks she needs a clonopin because she yeah. wants them to, to be high. She wants them to be calm. She... You know, clonopin is actually only supposed to be as needed. Yeah. It's not really meant for long-term issues with anxiety, though there's much better medications for that. And yeah. well, mom, you know, I, I know that you've also- The other medication that I was taking was Xanax. Yeah. And that was 11 years ago, and that's what got me Right, so if you already have a previous issue with Xanax, the medications that you are on are potentially more dangerous for somebody like you than maybe another average person. And I know that you've struggled a little bit with some other symptoms as well. Did you get a bipolar diagnosis at one point? Are you being treated for that now? Um, that's what I'm on the Cymbalta for. Okay, so Balta is not usually the, uh, uh, the the first line medication. It, for is it is it normal? I, I don't have yeah. any knowledge on this, and I'd like to know: Is it normal for someone to be taking that many medications no, all at once? No, usually it's not. Are you seeing a specialist? I see my family doctor. And besides taking the pills, you're also smoking marijuana. Occasionally. What is occasionally? I haven't smoked in, in over a month. We have some other texts too. Yes, Jessica, we, right? back, we have. We also have some texts that you know you text your daughter's friend. Ooh, I wish you. She said, I "Stop ignoring me, hussy. I need some smoke." Ooh. Oh. Then 29 minutes later, Kathy texts, "No cell for mom. I'll see how you are." <laughs>